We are indeed with the leader in the ladies' section, Jennifer Yu, after another crucial victory. Jennifer, congratulations. A big one with the black pieces against one of your main competitors. How do you feel right now? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, going to this game, like, I didn't really know what to play against her. Um, played the Petrov, so it was kind of drawish for a while, but, you know, I was also, like, I really wanted to win this game. Like, it was a strange decision because I was trying to just get, like, a playable position mm -hmm. so that I could win, but, um, I mean, I guess it ended up working out, but... <laughs> did you feel uh, that you surprised her with this Petrov decision? I think I did, because um, she stopped for a while here before playing D4, but um, I, I, I thought, like, she was going to expect it because I have played this quite a few times in the past, but um, I have been playing really random openings this tournament, so it probably makes it harder. Bishop d3, d5, and you entered this main line with a bishop on d6, and she decided to go for knight c3 instead of c4. Did you know anything about the position? Were you still in your book at this point? Uh, no, I... For some reason, knight takes d7 just completely, like, I was like, oh, did not expect knight takes d7. Um, Already here, Knight takes Yeah, even though it's like definitely very popular. Because um, I, I thought she was going to play, like, um, I think she was in a castle or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, I knew a little bit about this position because I played this for a few years. So I know it's like some ideas. But um, so I wasn't like afraid of going into this. And she took on d7. And I think this was quite critical at this point. f5, c4. How did you assess the position right now? I think you spent quite a long time uh, playing this move, queen to f6. Yeah, um, my time usage here was not that great, um, but I just could not decide, because there was a few ideas I could do here. Um, I could also take on c4 and king h8. I just didn't like that as much. I think, I don't know what the valuation was. I think it should be okay. Yeah, I thought it was like Very around close that. Equality, yeah. yeah, but I just thought this was um, less of a practical chance, because the thing is, I know I'm black, but I, you know, I don't like drawing. I like I like yeah. to win, so um, I thought like that would just be more passive position. So I thought Queen F six was just like a better chance because mm -hmm. um, here. Okay, so I assume she was also trying to beat me, which is also like why I did this opening because otherwise I think like if you want you could play Bishop G five, um, trade the queens off, and then it should be like a pretty simple like um, end game. This one. Yeah, and then you can move the bishop back. And bishop three, bishop two. Yeah, so I, I mean, I don't know. It's you can definitely play on for a while, but I think it's like a very simple compared to the game. So that's why um, I was like really happy to see bishop d three, which I kind of expected too, because it also like complicates the position more. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then this move came on board. Yeah, h four. H four. <laughs> no, I was like h four at first. I was like, what is this? Because um, it seems so impractical. Because like now your queen's stuck on h five, but. Bishop g5 is actually kind of a problem um, in a lot of moves. So I was like, wow, this move h4, I can't believe it works, but it does. So you play bishop d5, bishop b3, c6. And finally, she got her bishop g5 at the only moment that she could have. And I think this was another critical moment. It felt like she was getting closer and closer to making a draw. But then you ladies got into this endgame. How did you assess this one at this moment? I mean, I thought this was should be a draw, but um, it's, I don't know, like, what is the correct, is it just f3, rook, b4? I think king g1 um, was fine. Okay. And go all the way to here, and, and now f3. just g3 was, it feels like a bad mistake. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, here I, I was, like, already accepting this might be a draw, but the thing is she still has to defend it. Um, and that's, like, it's really tricky here, because it, it looks like g3 should be easily drawn, but, mm -hmm. like, it just, I get, there's like Zook's one at some point, like, not like Zook's one, it's just kind of like what happened in the game, where it's like... And I think this was the critical move, you found this move king to h4. Because if you go f3 first, then king g3, if you go g4 first, then rook to b4 seems to equalize the position. Yeah. Um, king to h4, and at this point, you guys were repeating moves, and then she allowed you to go g4. What were, was your plan after king to g2? Um, rook d3. Rook d3, yes. Yeah, and then if she takes, now you go f3. It's like transposes to like, because um, before she could have taken on b7 too, it would have been the same thing, but she played. Um, at what point? Uh, yeah, right here. When I play king h4, it's the same thing. 
Got it. Yeah. But she can take, but now you go f3. Yeah, so rook b4 was a nice move by her, but um, now rook b4 doesn't work because... Because... <laughs> 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 I got, like, confused, too. I was like, it looks like something weird is going on. So I think at this point... Oh, never mind. So rook to d7, king to g2 was the question, but now you go rook to d3. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then now your rook's still stuck on b4. And so if you go king h2, um, now, now you can go here, right? And then king h3, was that it? No, this isn't. How are you um, planning on making progress? Oh, here I think I was just going to go, like, I could... Oh, maybe this and this and just wait? Yeah, I think that... No, no, now you can take on b7. The problem is that king has to be on h4. Mm. Um, I think uh, king h2, I was going to do... Oh, I could do g4, right? King h2. Oh, no, 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 g4, g4 is not good. Take on f... Maybe b5 here. Yeah, um, wait. b5, not b6. But no, this is... Because you, the pawn has to be on f3. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Where's the wind, guys? Uh, so you're doing a great job, to... Christian. We're not gonna. <laughs> okay, I looked at this for sure. Yeah. Um, I have to. <laughs> it seems rook d7, king h2. Let's try to figure it out. Rook Maybe rook to f7 here. And now king to g4. Yeah, this and is now slow, you, but it you works. You cannot yeah. wait anymore. Yeah, right? so she has to do something. You have to go here and now f3. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. We, <laughs> we found it. Anyway, very nice conversion. After that, she did not play this. Uh, important victory for you. You're going into tomorrow's match against Irina Crush with a half-point lead. How are you going to approach that one? Well, I think I'm going to just kind of approach it normally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the thing is, I, I, was think, I was kind of joking around a few days ago, and I was like, I really like playing like must-win kind of situations because mm -hmm. I always have a lot of fun playing those. I don't know. I just like to play under pressure. So I was like, maybe I should just treat every single game like that. Like I a must-win oh, situation. Yeah, must-win situation. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, if I don't have to go crazy if it's, like, very drawn. But I think, you know, I'm going to just play normally, like, in that way. Um, yeah. This is also, I think, the last time I played this tournament, I also had the same situation. I was, like, half-point lead, mm -hmm. second to last round. So hopefully we have the same result, but we'll see. <laughs> Guys, any questions? Congratulations, Congratulations, Jennifer. You're really playing, playing great. Experience. Somehow you do well matching up with Arena. I was really surprised in your head-to-head. -head. You have two wins and one draw. What is it about your games in the past with Arena that's benefited you? Um, I think back on the last two times we played, I don't really know. I think um, our, maybe it was, it's, because of our styles, but um, I think I'm also always black every single time we play. Like, I think every single time. So this will be interesting, because um, I don't, maybe I played her once this way or something like that. And tomorrow you're going to be black again. <laughs> I'm black again? I think. What, what, the, tomorrow, what? No, tomorrow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't mess her up. She's, she's doing great without your help, uh, Christian. <laughs> she has double, Our producer double is up. trying to <laughs> confuse us a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so, so, but, um, so I think we've always kind of played the game on like her terms a little bit because she's kind of like choosing kind of positions we're heading to. So it'll be interesting to see what I do with my. All right. Well, we'll be watching. Yes. The whole Looking world forward. will be watching, uh, yes. actually. Uh, nice. Good luck, Jen. Great job. And uh, we have a 